Today we are reading Little Brown Bear Won't Take a Nap by Jane Dwyer. Little Brown Bear hated to take naps, especially the kind that lasted all winter. I will not take a nap, announced Little Brown Bear. Nonsense, said Mama. Every bear sleeps in the winter. It is for you to snuggle into bed. Honk, honk, honk. What is that? What is that? Little brown bear asked his mama. Those are geese, she answered. Do geese have to sleep all winter? Asked little brown bear. No said Mama Bear, geese fly south, but bears sleep. So off to bed, you go. I want to be a goose and fly south, said Little Brown Bear as Papa Bear tucked him into bed and sang a lullaby. Then Mama Bear read a bedtime story and kissed Little Brown Bear goodnight. Sweet dreams, they said with a yawn, and they went off to their own bed. Little Brown Bear waited until he was certain that Mama and Papa Bear were fast asleep. Then he jumped, jumped out of bed, packed his valise, and set off to find the geese. Hmm. How will I ever find them? wondered Little Brown Bear as he headed down the road. Toot, toot, toot! Little Brown Bear heard a whistle just as a train was pulling into the station. Gaggles of geese were everywhere. Some geese were boarding the train. Some were waving goodbye and others were leaning out the windows. Hop on board, called one goose. So Little Brown Bear did. Why are, aren't you? Fly, flying. Why aren't you flying? Little Brown Bear asked the goose. Oh, some of us prefer the train, he answered. It's more relaxing, and we enjoy the ride. Little Brown Bear looked around. Two geese were... Play. Playing. Chess. While others were... Playing. Checkers. And another goose invited Little Brown Bear to join in a game of cards. Little Brown Bear thought this was much better than taking a nap. The next day, Little Brown Bear and his new friends went to the cafe car for a box lunch of honey, birdseed, and peanut butter sandwiches. As they watch, watched the scenery fly by outside their windows. As soon as the train arrived at their stop, the geese flew off to the beach and Little Brown Bear followed. Little Brown Bear Love Love the beach. He Love the smell of the salt, sea salt air. He Love jumping over the waves and finding seashells. Most of all, Little Brown Bear Love Play Playing in the sand. Some Sometimes he built sandcastles with high turrets, and sometimes he made sand pies decorated with seaweed. This one afternoon, he built a sand cave. It was cozy and warm inside, and Little Brown Bear crawled in to take a rest. First, he turned, turned onto one side, then the other. He 
tried to sleep on his back. He tried to sleep on his tummy, but he could not get comfortable no matter what he did. Just then a big wave came and washed away the sand cave. Little brown bear thought about the nice bed he had at home. He knew Mama and Papa Bear would miss him if he did not return by spring. Little brown bear young. Of the geese were ready to head back north. Please, asked little brown bear, holding back his tears. May I go with you? The geese could see that little brown bear was in a hurry. We'll fly you back. It will go faster, they said. The geese fashioned a carrier from a fishing net and safely carried little brown bear. Home. Little brown bear quietly Open. opened the door, tiptoed past his sleeping parents, and unpacked his belongings. Then he climbed into bed, snuggled under the covers, and fell fast asleep. Wake up, called Mama and Papa Bear. You. Slept all winter, said Papa. Spring is here, said Mama. I'm not getting up, growled the little brown bear. I didn't even sleep. Mama Bear took a warm washcloth and gently wiped the sleep from little brown bear's eyes. You silly goose, she said. Of course you did. You even have sand in your eyes. The end.